Go and return them! That was it! That was it? No, it was it. Thanks, Ron. That's all right. You're smiling. Bet that hurts you a bit. Yes, it actually does. Yeah, you'll be smiling a lot more after tonight. Oh, Ron! Uh, my stretch Armstrong's a bit buggered, though. Thanks for saving me today. Uh, don't thank me. Oi, where the hell have you been? The diadem of Ravenclaw is in the room of requirement. The problem is, I don't know where it is. Did you know that the room of requirement... Well, you can have it as a burlesque party. Oh, hey, hey. Oh, I'm not even going to dignify that statement with a response, Harry. Well, what are we going to say to it, then? Oh, God, we'll never think of it. I'm Lord Voldemort. Show me where my hot crocs is. Hi, diary. I've been looking for Ravenclaw's diadem, which Luna told me about. Now, I finally found Rowena Ravenclaw, but because she's 500 year old, stupid bitch is deaf. So she couldn't understand a word I was saying. I ended up having to write everything down on a placard, but like I said, because she's so old, she couldn't read it. So I had to give her some glasses. After all of that, she then tells me she can't remember where it is, so I accidentally forgot myself and took a swing at her. That was unfortunate because then I had Peeves the Poltergeist pelting me with Cheerio. Fortunately though, we m I found the other two and we managed to find the diadem near Dumbledore's office. Destroyed it with fiend fire, and now it's the big moment. I've killed all the lost snake, Harry! That's great, Neville. Maybe you should try killing that noise you're making as well. There's a wand. Anyway, I'm just about to fight Voldemort, which I'm a little bit nervous, but at the same time, a little bit excited. Now, I know he's had the advantage in these last few rounds, but that's purely because he's had more time to practice with the dark arts. Anyway, he's a lot older than me, so his reflexes are going to be so slow. Plus, he can't sustain, sustain his punches. I feel like my training's been going really well. I mean, after all, it's brought me this far, hasn't it? Actually, I'd just like to say a big thank you to all my fans out there. I really appreciate the Chosen One campaign as well. I mean, there's no harm in a bit of publicity for such a big event like this. Finally, I've got a message for the Malfoys. Sod you, you rich bastards. You suck. Especially your mum, Draco. God, she is a MILF. Anyway, the best man will no doubt win. And of course, we all know who that's going to be, don't we? Me. The chosen one. Bye. 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 Not very nice, Harry. No, neither are you. What's the big problem, Harry? If you want some snuff, I can point you in the right direction. I have lots of contacts. Yeah, and I wear glasses. Went to Specsavers, actually, two for one. But that's not the point. Why 
why have you been trying to kill me for these last 16 years? Because you're an annoying little asshole who keeps thwarting my plans to take over the world. You're afraid, aren't you, Voldemort? Afraid to die. That's why you made all those Horcruxes. Why don't you do what normal people do? Just take out life insurance and make sure that their families are provided for when they die. Or you could do what Walt Disney did. Have yourself frozen. Or there's the Jeremy Bentham approach. Sell yourself to scientific research. I mean, come on, you can easily sell your body to science because let's face it, it's not doing anything for you. It's certainly not doing anything for me. You can go any way you like, Voldemort. You choose. But I don't want to go at all. Why don't you get it into your stupid little head, boy? Why can't you understand, Potter? But I do understand. I've seen the world for what it is. And it's marvellous. It's glorious. And it's... a bit of shit. Why do they always do this in films? I don't understand it. Why can't they just... Fight. You know, it's the ending, they're just, they're, they're there, they've got the ones, they're just constantly talking. Just save the drama. Just well, kill them while they're there. Well, yeah, you know, it would make much more sense. You know, like, I, I've been asking the Union Head if we can, you know, be transferred to another evil villain. Um, he's just not doing anything. We're stuck with Voldemort. I just, I've had enough. I, I'm, I, I'm taking my wand and I'm leaving. Ah, oh, but should we send this to Paper, rock, and scissors. Oh, if we must. Right, Voldemort. Best of three. Okay. <laughs> Hooray! Ah. I win. <laughs> now, best of three, remember? Oh, okay. This is the final time. Uh. El Cassine Immunitas! Oh, fuck my mum! Action. So, now that the Dark Lord is no more, what is the first thing you're going to do? Lose my cherry! Well... I might go for a celebratory meal um, after I've had a nice, long, relaxing bath, of course. Um, oh, and undo my parents' memory charm. Really? What would you say has been the worst part of this experience? Um, probably the hours of planning. Um, then there was the pressure from everybody in the wizarding world. Personally, I would have said the arguments we've had and the madness cooking I had to endure. Worst bit generally or just the worst bit about talking to you? Well, uh, to be honest, it's all been crap really. I don't really know. It hasn't really been a bad thing for me. Apart from that hangover, of course. On the whole, it's been great fun. What have been the best parts of the experience then? It's got to be blowing up that supermarket. Every little helps. <laughs> but seriously, I know it went a bit tits up, but you know, I really did feel like I was the chosen one. Best part of the experience? Are you being serious? How can anybody say this has been a good experience? No comment. How would you describe your relationship with your colleagues? Brilliant. I mean, I don't know what I'd have done without them. Both charming in their own sort of way. Um, Harry's a good guy, a bit clueless at times, but that's why I'm here to help. And as for Ron, well, you you know we're sort of seeing each other now. I mean, look past the farting, belching, twitch, um, heckling, snorting, scratching. He really is quite sweet deep down. And I just hope he feels the same way about me. Well, mine is a bloody miserable cow. And Harry. Well, the fame's gone to his head a bit, I think. What do you feel that you've learned from this experience? 
I've learned never to trust boys for something you want done properly. When you're a girl, make sure that you only wear a short skirt when absolutely appropriate. To be honest about how much I've spent on Marnie's credit card. Where do you see yourselves in five years time then? Oh, well I hope by then I'll have uh, cracked Marnie's chastity belt. I hear that uh, Dean, Seamus, Neville, uh, Zachariah Smith and um, Clavin are all after it. Might need a bit of help from Tonks there actually. Uh, didn't Tonks die? Did he? Oh, bollocks. Right, I'm screwed now. Um, otherwise, I uh, don't know, I'll probably just take up a uh, Quidditch professionally or maybe become a detective. I want to be an aura! 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 I want to be an aura! Yeah! My being Rich Start XPEW. It's spew. Help the environment and liberate households worldwide. And finally, what would you do differently next time? Next, next time? If you brought Voldemort back, I'd be hunting you. Does it even bear thinking about? Not fucking involved with this again. One. I'd destroy Voldemort, yeah. He's dead because of me, yeah. All you witches out there, put your hands in the air. Cause I'm just a cheat. Do you now understand why it was so important to destroy Voldemort? Yes! Shh, don't say that! Oh, hang on. We can say the name now. I think I get, could get used to this. Do you know what we should do now? What? We should go out for a meal. You do realise that we are all skint now? No change there, then. <laughs> I just realised I made another joke. <laughs> I'll make a film about our adventures. Nah, that never catch on, mate. Harry, I've just thought, what's going to happen to that dragon that we used to escape from Ringgold's bank on? If he's blind as well as untamable, then think of all the havoc he could wreak. Oh well, shit happens.